hi guys uh, now I got an idea for a video so I'm shooting it just before I forgot yeah, first look at this beautiful sun 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 sunset it's setting down it's so beautiful and uh, yeah to, uh, in this video I would like to uh, apologize me for being a little too tired because I've been dealing with a lot of new things a lot of new emotions and past days and uh, yeah i now i got this idea for this video because this is the thing that i learned after a month and a half on 100 percent on, on fruit i learned that the most important thing i learned the most important thing to succeed on fruitarian diet the like the how can I say it? Like benefits, the feelings that I've been feeling in last days have been the most incredible out of my whole life. I've never, like these benefits, I was speaking about them before, but now after I realized this one thing and I implemented it, they started to, all these benefits, they just started to be even, even more intense. And I'm just loving, loving fruit so much. I'm, I've never been in, like I'm really like, to, I'm in love with fruits. This is what it is. This is my relationship with them now. And I just want to share it because I want everybody to feel the same way. Uh, so I want to share with you the number one thing to succeed on fruitarian diet. And it is to eat your fruit of the eat your fruit at its ripe at its perfect ripeness it has to be perfectly ripe otherwise if it's not perfectly ripe you will not get nourished in a way that perfectly ripe fruit makes you you will not feel the same nourishment as you would from perfectly ripe fruit i'll just check if it's recording it is because sometimes i oh i I'm sharing like such a good message and my phone just dies because it's old you know he's an old guy but and he has to deal with this tropical sun then he overheats and then all of the good content that I've just that I just said is gone but now it's it's recording this one is gonna be a quick one I'm probably or maybe gonna do some montage of perfectly ripe fruit that I've been tasting so far but yeah there is there is nothing more uh, discouraging than being really hungry and having like a lot of fruit and then eating it and realizing that it's not ripe at all your body will just not want it you will just uh, for me it's it, it went to the point where when when I taste uh, unripe fruit and if I were to eat it like swallow it now I just spit it out like straight away but if I were to eat it like swallow it I would just regurgitate it back it's what what has been happening to me for a long time and I didn't share this but I was really it was really stressing me out because I I used to eat fruit and I would just regurgitate it back and I didn't know why and I was just like wondering why is it happening like what's wrong with me you know what's wrong with my stomach nothing was wrong with me or my stomach my body is intelligent its own intelligence made sure that I don't eat that fruit that's why I regurgitated that back maybe this will be another topic the number one thing to, su to succeed on a fruitarian diet is to have perfect quality fruit to find to go for the best ones even if it's not worth the money it's oh I'm sorry it is worth the money it's not it's not worth it to eat uh, unripe fruit just because you bought it okay let's say you made mistakes and you bought you bought 10 unripe mangoes because you are just so sure that they will be perfectly ripe and you bought them and then you are forcing to to eat them even though 
you're forcing your, yourself to eat them even though they weren't they weren't perfectly ripe and you didn't enjoy it that much but you are like the fact that you spent so much money on them it bothered you so you still ate them don't do it it's the same with the durian the other day I spent quite a bit of money on durian I bought three durians and none of them was good I'm sorry but none of them was good and I had to throw them away and in those moments I, I just tell myself well you win some and you lose some it's not worth it it there will be another durian another time you will just buy another one just throw this one away and go and find something better like I would rather eat one good mango than shitty durian I would rather not have durian than shitty one or shitty I'm sorry I'm sorry to call it but not not a good one shitty one yeah I'm sorry I don't want to offend fruit I don't want to offend durian I don't want to speak speak badly about it because it's not fruits fault it's fault of the people who harvest it and that's a that's a that's a harsh truth because these people these people they don't really care about the fruit they they grow they really don't have the the same connection to the fruit as I do probably and you can see it in the markets and yeah you have to be really picky about your fruit and don't be don't be afraid to spend your time there touch your fruit smell it look at it observe it and don't mind people who are like who are like say telling you that you're taking too long no this is an artwork look at this beautiful pomelo that I was showing earlier is it still recording oh it is this is the perfect this is perfect ripeness I'm just about to eat this and I found this beautiful shop with such a friendly Thai people man I I, I was just like where are the friendly Thai people and there are there they are the, the lady uh, yeah I bought their the pomelo yesterday it was so delicious that I came there today too and I was like oh can I have one of one more um, can I have one pomelo she was like yeah here you go and then I uh, I ate that pomelo in the near nearby in the park and it wasn't that good as the previous one so I came there I told them that it wasn't that good it was a little bit dry uh, the, and the first one was like perfect like perfectly juicy perfectly ripe perfectly sweet and the lady was like oh I will just replace it for you I will give you and she gave me money back for the for the second pomelo and uh, and was like sorry sorry and then like picked pick these pomelos for me and now I have this beautiful one she even cut it open just to make sure that this one is really good and she she handed it to me and now I'm just about to eat it and I can't wait man like I've already tasted one Oh yeah, it's still recording. I heard the sound. My brain made a sound, uh, probably. Uh, this, the sound of when your recording goes off, you know. So I was like, fuck no. So uh, yeah. Oh, then you don't even need to eat that much. You just need a quality. Don't go for quantity. Go for quality. Quality first. Quality first. It's the law of this universe. Don't go for quantity. Why you have quantity? What do you have quantity for? If it's not, if it's not quality. Yeah. So this is just a quick message to remind all fruitarians that are, uh, to remind all probably new fruitarians who are just getting into this lifestyle. I'm speaking from experience. Month and a half straight on fruits, and now I'm just. I feel like I'm entering this new new stage new level of fruitarianism because I rely on my fruits I rely on them the next video I'm probably gonna film is gonna be about fruitarian literature that I've read so far that has really inspired me so stay tuned for it um, yeah stay tuned to this channel if you are into this into all of these topics about health about fruitarianism about nature about self-development and see you guys. Jumping over the river.